be wrong to say that Italian and Indian food are similar in taste. But yes, there is something about both the cuisines which are able to fill that hole in our stomach. It's the simplicity of the Italian kitchen, its warm and heartiness that really connects our taste buds to it. I recently read in Shantaram that Indians are Italians of Asia and every Italian has a bit of Indian in him. When I tasted marzipan many many moons ago in Sicily, it was nothing but badam barfi and the same goes for farinata di ceci which was besan ka pura. And recently I ate gnocco frito in Emalia Romagna which was puri, the very puris that we eat for breakfast every morning. The similarity does not end here. Italians love celebration and they love to eat. Does that sound familiar? For me, yes it does because that's what happens in every home of ours, celebration and love for eating. Here comes Sabrina, a friend from many years. Every time she has been with us in Delhi, she has always cooked a brilliant meal. Of course, after long discussions on the phone with Mama Bakerti. Oh, well, well, very okay. well. Eh? First, you put your cycle, start. sit down with me. Let's have a coffee. Is it okay here to park here? Yeah. I only know Fabriano for the paper and I only know that watermark was created here. If you say Fabriano, people think about paper, paper making. Because the paper making started a long, long time ago, seven centuries ago here. Through the centuries, paper making has been like a landmark of this territory. So it's a really famous. So anyway, you will show me around. But first thing, what are you going to drink? I will go with Prosecco. I think it's a nice time to have a Campari. What do you think? You suggest that? Okay. Yeah, I'll get you a Campari. Wait. I can't believe this. I just bullied Sabrina into drinking what I wanted her to drink. I should be ashamed of myself. I'm not. This is what I like about the Italian way of living. Some talk then a coffee, some more passionate, intense discussion, then a Campari, and yes, it is already time to discuss what's to be cooked for dinner tonight. Sabrina and I have decided to get her mother to cook polo alla cacciatore for us. Sabrina will first give me a quick tour of this historical piazza before we pick up ingredients for dinner tonight. Cacciatore, which is going to be cooked tonight, has a very interesting story behind it. When Diva, my restaurant in Delhi, had just opened, every client was very, very precious. A family walks in, they look happy, they're munching on the bread, they've ordered the drinks, and suddenly, they look a bit uncomfortable. They just had a look at the menu, I guess. They thought this was a new Divya restaurant, a great place to try butter chicken. Instead, this menu... What language is it in? I begged them to stay and I prepared cacciatore for them according to the recipe given to me by Sabrina. I'm proud to say it was their first Italian dining experience and eight years down the line I still see them at Diva once every couple of months asking for the spicy chicken dish. Mm -hmm. 